TCR is brought to you by Capital Farm Credit. Together we're better. Mueller Incorporated. Made in America. Made to last. Hoheim Prairie Insurance. Texan serving Texans since 1892. Golden Chick, the original and still the best. And top Texas towns Abilene, Hillsboro, Waxahachie, and San Angelo. Hello, my name is Brian Davenport, and on behalf of Mueller Inc. and the Mueller Men, I want to wish Bob a happy 50th anniversary of telling the Texas story. Congratulations, TCR! Why don't you just pop in and travel with us? Pop me? in and travel with us. Welcome to Mueller's Helping Hand, a special edition of Texas Country Reporter. This is something that we do every year during the holidays because this project is all about giving and this is the 13th year we've done it. It's really pretty simple. Our friends at Mueller, one of our sponsors, give away one of their buildings up to 4,000 square feet to a deserving nonprofit agency. That's right, a Texas-based not-for-profit that does good work and is already helping people, but could do a lot more if they just had well, a helping hand. So every spring we put out a call for entries and we whittle it down after a thorough process to the top three or four. And here are this year's finalists. First Refuge Ministries in Denton focuses on feeding their community through several innovative programs. More than just a food pantry, they grow their own vegetables and manage grocery-style locations that are embedded in schools. Their recently acquired farmland could use a new barn and farmer's market pavilion. We've got a partner a farmer out in Crum. In Irving, the police are teaching kids how to fight, but more importantly, how to deal with life. The Police Athletic League offers fitness programs for disadvantaged teens, including a rigorous boxing program that's trained youth champions. Their gym is filled wall to wall with workout equipment and they need another one. Near the piney woods town of Willis, adults with intellectual disabilities gather at New Danville. This secure community offers housing, activities, jobs, and job training to people of varying abilities. Their next expansion will include a recreation facility and event center for holding larger community gatherings. And just outside of Fort Worth, the group called Servolution Network helps neighbors in need in the town of Azel. Their biggest program sends an army of volunteers to repair broken down homes for low income families. They also run food and clothing ministries around town. They're in need of a central headquarters to store massive amounts of donated building materials. So we have four finalists, each doing great work to help people. But which one of those four finalists will soon get a new Mueller 4,000 square foot building? Stay tuned. We have the DPS and the Sheriff's Department that blocks traffic. Because this is Texas. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. This is what we do. The, the cows got the right away. <laughs> Welcome back to Mueller's Helping Hand, a special edition of Texas Country Reporter. Now the hardest part of this whole Helping Hand competition is deciding which nonprofit is most deserving of the building Mueller's giving away. But after an exhaustive amount of research, in-person visits, and talking, and 
talking and, well, talking some more. One of those nonprofits always rises to the top. And this year, it's Servolution from Azel. I think we've lost how to love our neighbor. We really have. Hey, good morning, Jared. Good morning, Jason. So much negativity in the world. People have just forgotten what it's like just to genuinely care for somebody. Our love for people comes with no strings. We don't care who shows up, whether you're Catholic, whether you're Muslim, whether you don't go to church, whether you work at the bank, whether you work at the post office. Amen. Come with us and just love this homeowner who's asked for help. There's no strings attached. So I'm excited about today. Uh, we're gonna do a veteran wheelchair ramp for Jeff and Myra. It's Friday morning in Azel, and like an army of ants, workers file in and out of Servolution Network's headquarters. Their strength is in their numbers, many hands that make molehills out of the mountain of problems in their community. And directing it all is founder and former Air Force officer, Jason Malawiski. My pastor preached a sermon on leaving a legacy, and I felt like I had served my country, but I don't feel like I did enough. I wanted to really do something that would impact the community where I lived in. I just want to do my part and give back. Servolution Network calls today's project a good neighbor's blitz. Hey, what's up everybody? Just want to share with you some pretty cool stuff. Uh, I'm live here in Azel doing some good neighbor's work. We're going to do some pay it forward. If you want to be a part of it, come follow us along. Volunteers from all over the Dallas-Fort Worth area have gathered together to fix in one weekend problems that have been plaguing some residents for years. Hi. How are you doing? People need help. You don't have to go travel to Africa to serve people. There's right here, right here in Azle, Texas. One of the worst houses we've ever served is right between our church here and a church three quarters of a mile down the road. He had a hoarder situation. He wouldn't even live in his house. He stayed in his truck in his front yard with no running water, and he wouldn't even go in his own house. We'll do six to eight homes in a weekend. We've had as many as 450 people show up in one weekend, which is absolutely amazing. It's a simple, and some might say old-fashioned idea. Neighbors helping neighbors. Single moms, the elderly, victims of natural disasters. Their clients can be anyone in Azel who has fallen on hard times, including people like Jeff and Myra Knight. Servolution has come to help me and my husband clean up our yard, build us a ramp because he has to have hip surgery. And he's a disabled vet. He worked in the Navy for 12 years, I think. Unable to really walk on it for like the past 10 years, it hurt and it got worse to the point where a couple of months ago I had to go to the ER, the pain was so bad, and they did x-rays and turned out my hip's gone. By rolling up their sleeves and getting to work, Jason and his team have lifted a weight off of a couple facing the challenges of declining health and advancing age. I've been active all my life type A personality. If I wasn't rushing around doing 10 things, I wasn't happy. And then it got down to where I could do one or two things, and then it's just driving me nuts. It's like, you can't do that today. It was always, well, I'll feel better tomorrow. I'll feel better next week. Well, three years of that, and it never came. Good day comes along, and you come outside, and you go to finish the project you'd started, and your body won't do it. Your, your hips will lock up, or your knees lock up, or your body just won't do it. So that's what getting old is, is like. It, your body slowly leaves you, and one day it's gone, and it doesn't tell you it's leaving before it goes. It just isn't there. It's like, I just did this. I was just able to do this. And then it's like, how am I going to get it done? That's what it's like. It'll take me six months to do what you guys are going to do. And so, Servolution is really blessing us today. A big load off of my heart. 
sorry. It's just such a blessing. Tears of joy. Jeff and Myra are just two of the hundreds of people Servolution Network has helped. Their outreach goes far beyond their home improvement weekends. All year long, they fill blessing boxes full of free food, run a free clothing boutique, and deliver construction materials and appliances to people in desperate need. All right, so welcome to our Good Neighbors Garage. In here, we've got things like doors up front, we've got windows, we've got hot water heaters, insulation, some plywood in the back. Our motto is, if we have it, we give it. We've got a lot of donations we can't house. We're trying to um, organize, purge, get more effective. Two days ago, we had a lady said, I can give you about 10, 15 appliances every week until who knows how long, if you can have a place to store. She literally told us that on Facebook two days ago. So yes, we want to definitely create space so we can fill this thing up and just give it away and give it away and give it away. That's what Pay It Forward is all about. For years, Jason and his team have been paying it forward, all while their own challenges were stacking up behind the scenes. They have begged, borrowed, and squatted for space all over town. The closest thing they have to a headquarters is the Azel City Library, an old building filled to the brim with raw materials and on the verge of being condemned. The clock is ticking. So we're in the old Azel Library. City Hall and Azel used to be right next door. Um, they have since built a brand new, beautiful city hall on Main Street. So the, their building actually had water pipes freeze, the one they vacated. Um, so it's soon to be condemned, and ours is right next door. And that, frankly, is frightening. We've got a little bit of land, but I have no, I have no desire to bring all this stuff to my house. None. Our clock has run out, and it's time for us to grow up, if you will, put on our big boy pants and fly a little bit. This building is gonna be an absolute game changer for us. A building for the builders, a helping hand for the helpers, a gift for the givers. Soon the Mueller men will arrive with a brand new home for Servolution Network. It can't get here fast enough for the big hearted man who dreams even bigger. We're gonna call it our dream center for a reason. Right now we're, we're using properties on a handshake and now we've got our own place to call home. So this provides so much freedom, it's just unbelievable what's gonna be able to happen through this facility. Now all we need to do is build a building, a great big Mueller building. And when we come back, we'll get to work doing just that. start the process here because the construction time will happen quicker than we think. I've never heard of Ballinger, Texas before. Remember, I'm from Wisconsin, so I've never heard of it. I was really, really impressed. Miles away from Azel, Jason Malawiski and the Servolution Network team have come together for a meeting they've dreamt about for years. There's no better place to read, review, draft up, and draw than the Mueller headquarters in Ballinger, where final decisions will be made about their brand new building. Everything is so precise. Um, the people in Ballinger, from what I've noticed, are a lot like the people in Azel. They're just genuinely just great people, um, very humble, willing to teach you, show you, answer all your crazy questions. You know, not many companies will allow you to sit face to face for lunch with the owner of a company and just talk. No agenda on his part at all. Just real authentic, down home Texas people. It's a long day touring the factory floor and finalizing the schedule. But that's nothing compared to what's next, when Mueller men from across the state converge on a concrete slab in Azel. All right, guys, thank you all so much for coming this year. 
And after the early morning safety briefing, Mueller's 13th helping hand begins. The Mueller men are so humble, so humble, and they're like ants everywhere. We timed it when the semi truck got here at 7:33. They had the first column up at 7:50. Like they know what they're doing. Some of these guys have been here for all 13 of them. Some of the new folks are learning from the old folks. It's just really cool how this is their company's way to give back. Yet it's almost like their company picnic. This is a picnic like no other, with the Mueller men working tirelessly under the hot sun to turn nuts, bolts, and beams into the building of Servolution's dreams. It's a special moment as Jason reflects on being on the receiving end of this unforgettable gift. I'm getting a taste of my own medicine, if you will. So when we do the Good Neighbors program, right, the homeowner knows we're coming. They've filled out an application. They've asked for help, but when we show up, we're like ants everywhere. And I sort of feel helpless when they're here because I'm just sit, I have to sit in my own corner and just kind of watch. So do you feel like that homeowner watching? Oh, without a doubt. I've had, I had a long standing employee with me, Paige McClure, who's been with us since the very start. And her first comment when she walked up on day one is she's like, now, <laughs> she said, now you know what it feels like. Yeah, pretty awesome. Every minute is a milestone, and each beam a beacon of hope as this 4,000 square foot building takes shape. Called the Dream Center, this will be so much more than Servolution's new headquarters. It will finally be a home. You know, luckily we've had Servolution housed in one of our city buildings that's slated to be torn down. So they've been temporarily housed there and we've just been worried, hey, when it's torn down, where are they gonna go? What can they do? And this was just a, a blessing to be able to receive this from Mueller. You turn around and you see that building back there. What does that building not only mean to you, but also to this community? You know, this is year eight for us. Um, the Bible, the number eight in the Bible is a, the, the number of new beginnings. And this is definitely a new beginning for us. It's pretty awesome. There's no greater cause for celebration than the helping hand that's been given to Servolution Network. Thank you so much for coming to this event. It's an honor to be part of it. It's been a quick 72 hours, but Jason knows this building will have life-changing effects forever. This has been a dream for us to have our own fulfillment center for five plus years. No amount of speeches, recognition, or gifts will ever be enough to show the Mueller men what this will mean to the community of Azel. The owner of Mueller Inc., Mr. Brian Davenport. A community with a future that just got a lot brighter. With that, I want to invite Jason to come up and accept the keys to the building It's just so awesome that a company would just be willing to sew into another organization like this because they believe in you and they don't even know you. And I think that's really what we're doing with Good Neighbors. We believe in you, we're willing to help because we, we don't even know you. It doesn't even matter. It's what we're supposed to do. What does it do for you here? 
I think it gives me peace. Isn't this amazing? <laughs> it's gonna open up doors that I didn't even think even existed. And I'm so, so excited what the future holds with this building. I'll forever be grateful. Welcome back to Mueller's Helping Hand, a special edition of TCR. Now let's sit back and watch Servolution Network as they help even more people. I'm Kelly Phillips. And I'm Bob Phillips. And this is Texas Country Reporter. See you next time. TCR is brought to you by Capital Farm Credit. Together we're better. Mueller Incorporated, made in America, made to last. Hoheim Prairie Insurance, Texan serving Texans since 1892. Golden Chick, the original and still the best. And top Texas towns, Abilene, Hillsboro, Waxahachie, and San Angelo.